assalamu alaikum to all my viewers and uh, very happy ramadan uh, this is a very holy uh, month and uh, since we all are fasting uh, we all prepare a lot of iftar stuffs and suhoor stuffs uh, today i have come out with a recipe for iftar specially it's a bread stuffing which is my favorite and very easy very simple you can make it with just few ingredients at your home and uh, all you need is yeast flour all purpose flour salt olive oil or butter egg and warm milk that's it only these are the ingredients so and for the stuffings vegetarians you can stuff as per your uh, wish whichever vegetable is your favorite like potato grate the potato grate the carrots uh, along with some peas and corn uh, corns and all and you can make a stuffing out of it and you can do a filling for it but i am using mutton mince today so we are going to begin right away and uh, let's see how how easy it is to make this bread stuffing recipe okay let's begin i have around uh, one cup of uh, all purpose flour okay so to this flour i am going to add active dry yeast around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon which is about 7 grams so this is dry active yeast okay one and a half as i told you to this i'm going to add two teaspoons of butter because i like to have some crunchiness some softiness in my dough and then i'm going to use my hand i always prefer using my hand because my mom says anything which is cooked with love and with hand is always tastier than with the spoons so i'm going to use my hand only so i'm going to just ensure that the butter is being mixed well it combines well with the flour okay So now I'm going to make a well in my dough so that I can add the egg to it. There you go. And the milk, the warm milk. I'm going to add little by little. To this mixture I'm going to add little salt. Give a stir here first with the You can use olive oil also but I will be using olive oil later not now not at this point of time So now I've got a nice crumbly dough So to this mixture I'm going to add the olive oil around 2 teaspoons now milk little by little to form a dough the dough should be sticky some olive oil and knead the dough well okay add some olive oil now we need to rest this dough until it gets doubled up or at least for an hour or 2 hours of time so that we want the dough to double up in size and then we can start making in the bread plates okay yeah 
this I made one hour before it actually doubled up in size and uh, it looks perfectly ready for baking now I'm going to drip this down now so when I'm dripping it down it should fall like this without sticking anywhere it's just directly falling and it is soft and when I punch the air is getting released so which means the dough has doubled up very nicely and it is ready to be baked so let me just knead this and once again keep it back until I get my stuffing ready I have uh, mince, it's mutton mince around 150 grams olives black and green garlic paste I have some uh, pasta sauce you can also use pizza sauce if you want to mayonnaise some shredded uh, mozzarella fresh jalapenos which I'm later going to slice them off and use it sliced onions one large onion sliced and uh, around uh, one cup of um, corn and peas which I have parboiled already and some oil Let's clean up. first we're going to add some oil Two teaspoons of oil to this the ginger garlic paste and to this the mutton mince you can also use chicken mince or uh, grated paneer that is also a very good option for vegetarians paneer or smashed potatoes we will wait until the water completely <coughs> oozes out and dries on its own yeah. it's almost moist and cooked well so now to this I am going to add red chilli which is just one fourth of the teaspoon just a pinch of turmeric again one fourth teaspoon of curry powder and the corn and peas mixture So this is done. It's cooked now. Let's switch off the flame. And let this cool down for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes because it's too hot right now. If we add the mayonnaise, the mayonnaise will completely get watery, liquidy with the mixture and it will not look uh, stable when you try to fill it along with your bread. So let this completely cool down at least for 5 to 10 minutes, let it down and then you can add your mayonnaise and the grated cheese along with it and then we can go about filling. The dough is here. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to cut the dough. into five equal parts almost okay and uh, let me remove them okay 
so now to this we will just try to give a shape like this and just keep it we will start with this Okay, I have rolled on. I will keep it straight. A little bit of flour to be dusted. Yeah, how about adding mushrooms in it? Combination of mutton and mushroom will be yummy. So Shilpa, you can go go ahead adding mushroom to your mutton mince. It's going to be just yum. Okay, now I'm going to roll this. Let me check my mints. Yeah, it's cooled down now. So to this, we will add the mayonnaise. I'm adding less mayonnaise because uh, I don't want too much of mayonnaise. If you want too much of mayonnaise, even cheese cream you can add. Cheddar cheese you can add. Okay. To this. Olives. Both. Okay, give a nice mix. So it's mixed well. Now this mixture will be layered straight. like this okay and on top of this I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese you can add cheddar cheese or parmesan cheese any cheese of your choice, even feta cheese, the salad cheese also. Okay. After adding, as I told you, I will be slicing out the jalapenos and layering it on top because these are too spicy. So I don't want too much of spicy. So that's fine with me now next is I'm going to give a cut like this okay Okay, I'm going to start plating like how we put plates for our hair, just the same way. See, one and two, like that. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. Okay, one. 
and there we go two okay 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 so as you can see my fishy kind of a plate is ready the bed plate so this is going to be baked at preheated oven preheat your oven for like about 5 to 10 minutes first at 250 degrees celsius and then reduce the heat to 200 degrees celsius and bake this bread for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's golden brown in color and crispy and it will take like about 15 to 20 minutes max 200 degrees celsius will be just fine now to this i'm going to brush some butter you can also brush egg which is called egg wash so you can do a egg wash or a butter wash however it's convenient for you so i'm just going to do a butter wash because uh, butter gives a crispiness also or you can also use olive oil but since we are fasting we we want a little tastier one so we are going with the butter <laughs> so that's done so what i'm going to do is this is my baking tray so to this i'm going to put the wax paper the baking paper first I'll just give a slight butter wash to this also so that the paper doesn't dance here and there it stays stiff it's going to be a little difficult but you have to do it Okay, mission accomplished. <laughs> so, you can make around, I have how many more left? Three more left. Do you want me to make it or this is enough guys? <laughs> if this is enough, then we can wind up and once this is baked, I will put this in the thumbnail and you can have a look because it's going to take 20 minutes and I'm sure 20 minutes, it's a huge amount of time for us. We can do a lot of other stuffs in this 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, I will surely upload the picture of uh, this in the thumbnail for this video. Okay. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you all will enjoy making this fish plate. <laughs> and inshallah, once this is baked, I will soon upload the picture of it can have a close look hi Mariam hello Raza thank you so that's the one you can uh, also sprinkle some sesame seeds and uh, once it's baked for like 20 minutes what you do is you uh, add some uh, cheddar cheese or mozzarella cheese on top of it and will uh, bake for another five minutes maybe two of two to five minutes you know with the cheese on top of it inshallah you will surely enjoy this bread thank you yes shilpa do try and do share <laughs> thank you so much guys thank you for watching bye bye